Um, so we ended with secure credit here. We're going to talk about the last minute video is going to be over secure credit and co-signers. Just some things that you can add to loans to make sure um, you do get that loan. Secure credit is a, is a way to link an asset to the money you are borrowing. So an asset's anything worth value. So if I am going to start a pizza pizza restaurant and I need $250,000 $50, to get going, um, I'm going to borrow that from the bank and the bank might say, we would like you to secure this um, money, this loan with an asset. So they might say, what do you have that's worth $250,000? I might say, oh, my house. Okay. So that house is attached to that loan, basically as like collateral. If I do not make payments back on that loan or my business goes under and I have no way to pay that 250,000 back, the bank will take my house, okay? It's basically saying, okay, your, the house is worth as much as the business, you can't make your loan payments or fail or you stop paying, you default. Remember default is when you stop paying, um, they will take your house. OK, um, it gives the lender a little more security, the people giving you the money that, OK, I know if they do not pay, um, I can take their house. Yeah, you've maybe heard of a co-signer, a co-signer. Um, typically, you see this on vehicle loans for younger people or people with really bad credit. Co-signer is a person with established credit who shares responsibility for the debt. So I go in to buy a used car. And I need $8,000 to buy my car. Okay. So I go to Wells Fargo to get a loan. <clears throat> and I'm only 16 or 17. I might want to bring a parent with or a grandparent or somebody that would vouch for you um, to, to get the loan. But they will also sign their name on the loan as a co-signer. A co-signer basically says if Mr. Greg stops making payments on his vehicle, then I, my dad, Larry Gregg, will start making the payments for me, okay? Um, just gives the bank or the person, the lending company, a little more reinsurance that the loan's going to get paid off, okay? So you have secure, where you basically put an asset up against uh, the money you're borrowing, and if you stop paying, they'll take the asset. And then you have a cosign or somebody that will pick up the loan payments if you stop paying. Um, and that's basically what credit is. Interest rate, remember, is the cost to borrow money. Your interest rate is affected by your credit score. The higher the, the credit score, the lower the interest rate, the lower the credit score, um, the, the higher the interest rate. Um, and that number can be fixed by making your payments on time. All right. We have cosigner and secured credit. We talked about that. We talked about what credit cards are. Basically, credit's buy now, pay later. The best way to use credit cards only for important uh, purchases that you need. Don't be foolish with it. Pay it off within 30 days, the whole balance. Okay, use it wisely. Think about how does this credit card purchase impact my future income, okay? I um, mean, typically payments are made once a month, but you can pay more than that. Banks offer credit cards. Um, there are credit card companies like Visa and Discover, American Express. And then also there are department stores, Cabela's, Shields. Every time you go into Shields, they hit you up for a credit card or try to get you. Um, American Eagle, Kohl's, JCPenney's, all those different types. So good luck, and hopefully this was uh, good for you. Stay safe and wash your hands.